And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Welcome to the Dice Tower. Woo! I'm Melody. This is my dad. And Woo! we're reviewing Gravity Maze. Yes, the Gravity Maze is made by Think Fun, and they're, this is not actually a board game. This is a puzzle. Think Fun does puzzles, um, Rush Hour, and many different puzzles where you're trying to get something. But this is a puzzle that as soon as I saw it, I knew I was going to like it because it's about getting a marble from one spot on the board to another by dropping it through different uh, pieces, and it will make like kind of a marble ramp. Now, we like marble ramps. Uh, one, of, one of Melody's sisters, Holly, has one, and we do different things with it to get the marble. When I was a kid, I used to play with marble ramps. Loved, loved them. Is this as good as that? We can hope so. Okay, here is where the puzzle is going to take place on a 4x4 grid. Little spot to place a ball there. The game actually comes with three of them because you're probably going to lose them. Your goal is to get the ball to this object somewhere. Now you notice that this has different dots on it. That's because you can put it into this puzzle in a variety of ways and they snap in pretty easily. You know, diff the different ways that you can put them. They snap into the grid. Uh, and you're going to be looking at a card. So for example, this card here, which is beginner card number one, would say place the red one where there's two black dots on both sides and one black dot facing me. So I'd find the correct orientation for that and I would know that it would go right here. Now, I'm going to show you a puzzle, so if you don't want to see how this works, I'm going to spoil one of the answers for you, then fast forward to the opinion part. But this will give you a good idea, and I promise even though I'm spoiling one of them, there's still 59, and also this is one of the easiest ones in here. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place this red one, just like the card shows. The card also shows a purple and a green one, since the green is on the inside, then the purple one goes on the outside goes on the bottom and they stack so the purple and green ones stack like this and they're going to be placed in this direction now the game comes with several different size pieces you have a five size piece which is blue the four size piece which is green a three size piece which is yellow the two size piece which is purple and single pieces which are gray there's also a single red piece but that's the end each of these pieces and it's hard to kind of give you a look here on the video but they have different tunnels and paths that go through them so you can see here uh, this one drops straight through um, on the other side also does the same thing but if i place it like this it then becomes a curve so there's different ways to put these together the card here shows me what pieces I know that this is the starting point and I need to get to the ending point and I'm going to be using one blue, one green, one yellow, one purple, and one gray. So this is what I'm using. Now when I drop the ball in the very top one, it's going to go out backwards in the other direction. So I figure that I need to put the next one back behind there. And we're going to actually focus out a little bit because we're so tall. So I say, all right, I'll put the blue one like this. Oops, this one fell out a little bit, but they, they snap in. And then, let's see, the next size one is green. So I'm going to put a green coming this way now. And a yellow. And then a purple. Like I said, this one's really quite easy. And then a gray. And when I drop the ball on this one, all the way down it. Which is pretty cool. Now, of course, if I had oriented one of these in the wrong direction and of course while snapping that one in man should unsnap the other ones stay in now and then I dropped one of the balls in it's gonna go in a very different path probably alright and you also sometimes will have to place one of them sideways they can even snap on top of each other and you can go in different ways because of that. There are some rules to that. Sometimes the sideways actually goes here. It has to be supported and the card will tell you if it goes sideways. For example, 
in this advanced one here, you're starting at yellow going to red, you use a sideways, yellow, a sideways, purple, and a black. How do you do that? Well, that's why it's advanced. Number 37 goes all the way up to the hardest one here, this expert number 60. Anyhow, that's how you play. You just keep messing with it. Team Ant should get the marble to go down the right path, and then you start the next number. All right, well, what'd you think? Uh, I really liked this. It was fun. The pieces looked really cool. Like, they're all... Yeah. yeah, that's true. The different clear colors. Actually, though, the clear colors, they look cool, but it's really kind of hard. You have to really look closely to figure out which way sometimes the marble is going to go. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting because of the way these are made, you can put the piece in like this or like this. Mm -hmm. And really, there's eight different configurations for a piece, and that's not even including the sideways stuff. Mm -hmm. So you like how it looks? And it's fun how you could do it all different ways, like the marble can turn or um, go through one and uh, go down. Yeah, and sometimes yeah, they're, they're, they have rules in, in the rule book. You can't make a marble drop more than one level, do some kind of weird stuff on it. Um, but you can do some, there's some pretty nifty things that can happen. Um, you can make the marble come down and then drop through the next one onto a level. There's some cool ideas in this. And what number are you at at this point in time? Like 26 or something? Or oh, 22? So she's, she's working her way through all of them. I, I didn't do nearly as many as her, but I, I was pretty challenged by the intermediate ones. There's yeah. quite a bit I here. I just starting from the bottom and then slowly going up to the top because if you just do like a beginner one and then all of a sudden to the intermediate, it's going to be difficult. I suggest starting with the hardest one. And then when you realize you can't do that one, you go back to the easier ones and they feel easier then. Does that make sense? Okay, well it made sense in my head. Anyhow, what do you think of this one? It was really fun and I really want to do it again. Yeah, of all the puzzles that Think, think Fun's made some pretty cool ones um, with the Safari Rush and Russian, you know, all the different puzzles and we've liked a lot of them, but this is my favorite. But I would, like I said, I was already predisposed to like it because of the marble ramp thing, mm -hmm. but it does make you really think. So that's Gravity Maze. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Boo? Boo.